Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Time Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host. I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, we, you are me, you, we, us, we, you, we We're are here. We're playing the game. We are here. You are on the sticks. Yes. We are playing uh, Madden 20. The Briz Elm Knees saga continues. Johnny, Jonas, what, 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 what age do you think that you'll just be in the old women? That I'll, like, hold up. What constitutes an old woman? I, what do you mean? What constitutes? I, I imagine like a woman over the age of fifty-five. Like when are you just gonna start getting into old women? It's coming. Is it? Is that what happens? I mean, doesn't it? Seems like the vast majority, majority, the vast majority of men over the age of fifty-five are into women who are over the age of fifty-five. Well, uh, well, then how about uh, fifty-five? I don't know. Yeah, but here's my thing. Like, I've basically lived my whole life with, like, certain archetypes of women that I'm into. Okay. 55-year-olds ain't really in that bag. Okay. So I feel like at a certain time in my life, I'm just going to have to say, you know what? I'm in the old girls now. Yeah. Nice touchdown, by the way. Thank you. I, I faked out two boys. I saw what you did. Anyways. Though. But I do feel like eventually I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and be like, you know, gray hair and, like... You know, some wrinkles here and there. I'm just gonna have to like be like, yeah, that's cool. Okay. I mean, so, yeah. So when do you when do you think you're just gonna cross over? This is what I'm trying to figure out. Right now. You're just gonna start looking at gilf porn now. <laughs> wait, I watched. Wait, are you trying to say that I watch adult videos? Yeah, you know what, Jonas, you're right. Me and Jonas have not given each other or ourselves manual release since the outbreak. <laughs> 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 Jesus! What? I don't know where my has been. I don't know. I can't where... touch that thing. <laughs> I'm not touching this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wear gloves to take a piss. <laughs> Ooh, wow! <laughs> Bringing it today. <laughs> I take the tongs we have in the top drawer in the kitchen. <laughs> Salad tongs. <laughs> <laughs> can't touch flesh to flesh down there. Come on. Right. right. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess as I, I don't know, and I guess that is going to come at some point, right? Like, it is. It is. But I, it's just something to think about, I guess. But I guess, like, um, okay, and this this may be an ignorant question. Yeah. Like, at what point, you know, like men as they get older, yes. their their piece will stop working properly. Wow. At what point? <laughs> At what age do women, like, stop having, like, a sex drive? Like, when do they stop wanting to have sex? Wow, Jonas, this is crazy that you should ask this. There's scientifically scientific proof that women, their libido increases the later they get in life. Okay. But usually around, like, their uh, late mid to late 30s into their 40s and 50s, their libido goes up. Whereas ours is when we're, is, like, 20. Is at our peak, yeah, in our, our mid to late teens into our uh, early 30s early to mid 30s right 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 because that's when we and then we start losing testosterone and all that sort of it, stuff like don't you talk about my tea levels I, I know, we've talked about this before for me not to talk you, about my tea. you never talk about my tea all right yeah you can talk about the d all you want but, but my tea is tea. off limits <laughs> don't, dare, don't you dare talk about my tea i don't care if you talk about my a you can talk about my a hole. You can talk about my a cheeks. You can talk about my a crack. You can talk about my d. You can talk about my b my b's. Both b's, left and right. No t though. But no, no t. My t is off um, limits. You know, so I don't know, man. It's like I guess, I guess one day it'll happen. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. I, do, do you feel like we should just like <laughs> start getting more used to it? <laughs> Should we just start inundating ourselves with well, like images of like well, older women so so that we're used to it? Well, here's where I think you have flawed logic. Okay, where's the flawed logic at? Most people, huh? the at the norm per se, huh? get married and they're with the same woman and then they turn right together. Well, that's a lie. But like but you're talking about like sing, like as a single male when I will start pursuing most people do not get married Joe I don't know where you get this from are you living in the same country I'm living in yeah dude there's a dude nah, <laughs> nah. Talk, go find like a 60 year old lady most of them are married yeah because they're all freaking baby boomers 
Right, dude. I forgot who I was talking to. Pretend that they don't exist. I know you. I mean, (laughs) I forgot who I was talking to. We're talking to the channel boomer here. (laughs) Marriage is a sanctity of marriage. Yes. Because I'm I'm all about getting married. You know me. All I do is talk about when I can find my next wife. (laughs) And you kids, you kids today don't respect your rings and all of you. Guess what, Jonas? Most people are not married. That 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 changed over the last twenty, thirty years here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, dude. I don't have like a type of woman anyway. So like, I, it's like if I if I was like older and had it like, it, and that's and we connected, like, boom. Hot take, Jonas just came to my head. Tinder for over fifty, boom. Yeah, but they're not just out there slanging that pee around, dude. Yeah. Are, what? <laughs> Motherfucker! Look, all right, just gonna let it out. I've worked in healthcare for most of my adult life. Yeah. Old people is getting it, all right? <laughs> these people in these nursing homes, Jonas, they are getting it. Well, yeah, they say that STDs are, like, uber prevalent in nursing homes because they got nothing to do with it. Where do you think I got mine from? <laughs> kidding. That's a joke. But that, that That's a joke, all right? Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. no but, yeah, like, it's like you're, you're all together. You're in close proximity. You're, like, sharing yeah. partners. Like, they're like the big poly community. Dude, Everyone's these just... little old men will go knocking on doors. Go in there and they'll just like smack around their flaccid, and then they're just they like, walk out, you know, go get my pills. <laughs> like, oh, here comes Walter again. <laughs> How you doing, Betty June? It's time for the normal noontime fun. Yeah, because the the urge is still there late in life. I mean, physically it may be a little bit more difficult, but the urge is still. Yeah, there. like your mental like mindset of like yeah. I want to. Get off! <laughs> and and honestly, I mean, you think about it nowadays. Like, I'm not out here using my D every day, Jonas. Yeah. And when it comes to like even interaction with females, I'm not necessarily using my D to please them. As long as I got two working fingers, or I got a tongue in my mouth, I can do what I got to do. Right. Yeah, I feel you. And once I get sixty, and I. <laughs> Like, yeah, you still got a hand and a mouth. Yeah, and if that fails me, dude, I'll put a toe in there well, so quick or this kneecap. This goes back to something I saw online uh, not long so ago, and it like. kind of like blew my mind. It didn't like blow my mind because like I know this, but like when it was put in such like blunt terms, I was like, that makes sense. Like having like having sex with someone doesn't have to be genital to genital connection. <laughs> Yeah, that's, you, you that's know what true. I mean. That's like you true. can, like you're not having like traditional sex if you aren't doing that, but you could still have a very sexual experience with someone. Yep. And it's like, so like you're not having sex, but you're having sex. Like exactly, Jonas. <laughs> I will look, man. When I'm 70, I'm gonna be just like taking a wooden spoon and just stuffing wrinkles, skin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna do whatever, just any way you can. To get really, your just rocks. L- just lube up some of my loose skin wrinkles and just like stuff it in there, dude. <laughs> wow, <laughs> just rubber band it together and fashion it into a phallus and <laughs> get it in there any way I can. Fashion it to a phallus. It's the best thing I think you've ever said on this channel. I'm in rare form, Jonas. It's I been know, a while. dude. You're all about it this morning. I'm in. <laughs> we went from Corona to the scary. Uh, yeah, talking about women, which you hate doing, and then talking about being old and having sex. And this isn't even like the serious discussion I had on my mind, but F it. We're talking about elderly sex now. Yeah, it's happening. Elderly. But yeah, dude, I mean, everybody's got to do their thing. Oh, yeah. I mean. I, I just I just don't understand when the transition happens. Like even for women to be into old guys, because there ain't no girl out there right now that's yeah, into but old dude, dudes. Some some like younger girls are into old dudes. Just yes. with, and it's not about money or whatever. Yeah, some of them, but that's a subculture. It's just like and some dudes are into older ladies, even if they're like thirty. It's a subculture and it's a fetish. Fetishes are their own thing. But when you get to be sixty five yourself. Is it just like you just like say eh, f it? I guess I downgrade my standards. I get, but here, but here's the thing. I guess it, it just it naturally progresses because I remember being, um, you know, like 
I do like in high school or just out of high school, you know, you're barely an adult and you look at like 30 year old ladies and you were like, ew, you're old. And now I'm all like, 30 year old ladies are fine, dude. Right? Like, you know what I mean? That like, is so true. Yeah, and, it's like. And you hand me like an, if you were to hand me an 18 year old, I was going to go younger, but that's sick. <laughs> right, right. You yeah, you're like, wait, 18, what am I saying? Yeah. If you hand me an 18 year old, I'm going to be like, yeah, she's hot. But like, as soon as she opens her mouth, I'm going to be like, look, lady. <laughs> right, exactly. Like, I'm sorry, little girl. You need to shut the f up. You right. Know? Right. Yeah, dude, I feel you. It's like, and I just, I distinctly remember just being like, ew, this old lady, you know, but like, but like, very beautiful, you know what I mean? Like, and then you're just like, and now you're just like, ooh, yeah. you're 35? Heck yeah, you looking good. <laughs> like, Heck yeah. Yeah, dude, it's like, yeah. Yo, a little 32 year old come up to me. <laughs> come here, young girl. <laughs> come here, young girl, he says. <laughs> Show me what you're working with, girl. Yeah. <laughs> you're ready to be the old man. I am, dude. I turned into, like, the old man at the barbershop. Yeah, right, that's exactly what coming to America. Show me what you're working <laughs> with, girl. That's, like, I immediately thought of, like, an old dude at the barbershop being, yeah. like, ridiculous. It, like, a stereotypical coming to America old barbershop, man. <laughs> <laughs> that girl look good right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, man, so I think it's just going to be a natural. I think it's, like, I think it's just the pool that's available to you. You know, it's like as you get older, you know, like I, I remember like even being like when you were 20 being like, ooh, she's an older lady. She's 25. You know what I mean? Like, it's, and it's, it's just weird, man, because it, it's such a like it's like a seamless transition. I think we all kind of fall into a sevens thing. It's like seven above seven below is kind of like the bracket of what you're working with at any age. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like uh, once you become an adult in like your past, like. High school and that kind of stuff. All right, Jonas. Well, then, in that case, give me the largest age difference of a woman that you've been with, either younger and or older <laughs> than you. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to name the person. Just no, give me dude, the number. I'm not going there. I would hope you wouldn't go there, but give me a number. No. You're not gonna give me a number. No. no. Is it like, are you like afraid that the FBI are gonna no, knock? Dude, no. I just, I mean, like, I happened to come across some younger ladies this year that, what like. What does that mean? Just get uh, it. God, uh, <laughs> what, how many years was it? It doesn't matter if she was, I told you, it doesn't matter if she's younger or older. You don't have to delineate. Just oh, give gotcha. me 14. a number. 14 year difference. Okay. I have to think. Because I'm obviously going to be more. Granted, I think everybody knows we're in our 30s, so that's definitely Nobody logistical. Knows yeah, you speak for yourself. Well, I have to say that statement because depending on what age I am, 14 years younger is. Yeah, you're. It, yeah, Jonas is 14. Or 14, you know, could be older too, but still. Jonas, Jonas was Jonas was 14, and he had sex with a zygote. <laughs> zygote. All right. Uh, so I have to think. I think I was 24 at the time, and the woman was. 48 or 49. Oh, wow. See, five-year difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not going to lie, Jonas. I was I was into older women, but not like over, not like Not over like yeah, grandmother age. Well, yeah. I guess at 49, you could be a grandma, but not like gray, silver hair. Yeah. Now, I'd be lying if I were to say that I haven't been with women over 50, <laughs> but it was later in life, all right? Fair. I yeah. don't see a problem with this, honestly. No, nah, dude. I don't think, like, I mean, it doesn't really matter... I mean, if you were both of age and both are consenting, what does it matter yes. what your age is, really? Yes, Jonas, I wasn't 16 year old. Well, right, but what I'm saying, I mean, you have to make sure you say that part about consenting. Like, yeah. It, but, like, yeah, it's like if, if you both are, you know, if, you, if you're 24 and she's 50 or you're 50 and she's 24, it, I mean. Nothing wrong. Yeah, hey. you're both saying I want to do this, then do it. Whatever, yeah, dude. yeah. It, I see. I see you in the comments, like ill dynamite's a, a gilf lover. <laughs> I see it. TNT gilfamite. No, I'm not a gilfamite. I'm not. <laughs> this is the first amite we've said about you. That you've been like, no, that's not. <laughs> that me. is not who I am. <laughs> I am a total milf hunter, though. Oh, oh yeah? my yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like I like the look of a woman who's she, she's been through a couple things, you know. <laughs> wow, she's had a life. <laughs> you know, she's been she's been ridden rough and put up wet. Or wow, something. Jesus, you are in rare form today. What is up? I don't know, dude. You're gonna start dropping the W word soon. 
<laughs> What's the W word? The one that you claim I say all the time. No, I don't need to do it when I'm not scared. When I, if I'm not scared, dude, the profanity is out the window. Cause That's I, true. I have yeah. control over my own thoughts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, I don't know. I think it's just going to be a natural progression. I guess. Like, uh, be, yeah, because... I don't know. And that's the and that's the only frame of references I have is like yeah, I remember like looking at like yeah, thirty year old woman when I was younger and being like, God, she's old, not being like, who? Yeah, that lady's fine. And like, if you see like a grandma, like an older woman, like a sixty year old woman walk in with like gray hair, um, a more overweight, you know, and you see like the wrinkles around her neckline, and that just doesn't really do it for me. And then I'm like, there's gonna be a time in my life where I'm gonna be like, hmm, that's your right? select, but that's gonna be your selection. Then. It's like it's all about your opportunities. <laughs> well, Jonas, <laughs> if I'm Save in a country, women. if I'm in a country where they're eating like bat meat, I'm not necessarily gonna be like, well, I guess if all we got is bat meat, I guess I'm a bat meat guy now. No, I'm gonna be like, I really want a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get pizza? Do you have bat meat pizza? I don't want bat meat pizza. I don't know. I, I I really I feel like we need an elderly man here to talk to to find out when the transition occurs. I think they would say it's natural, but yeah, we, is, can, we can do that. Or is it really just like like you said, the rule of sevens, where it's like seven years younger, seven years older is basically all we have to choose from, so we just accept that. Yeah, and I, but I think you also like un, like uh, subconsciously start finding like though that age range more attractive. Because it's you can more you're like more relatable to the you know what I mean it's like because like right now if I went to go try to date a 65 year old lady we wouldn't have anything to relate about you know what I mean like I feel you would more than you would with an 18 year old and if you were to go in the opposite to like life experience like because an 18 year old has zero life experience but it, like an older lady you know would have a lot yeah. of life experience all, all right. old people talk about is their freaking health problems and what pills they're taking anyway is it. That, pff, yeah, that's I mean, they what they have, have. They don't have much else to go in the weather. <laughs> and their kids, and grandkids, and stuff. Uh, uh, that, yeah, right. <laughs> Something to look forward to. And you know there, what? And maybe that's like. Something to look forward to. I don't know. Like people. Uh, yeah, okay, this is gonna be a, a weird take. Like people always have told me. That like I don't look as old as I am. Like I don't think I look like a twenty. This, that's a, okay. I mean, and I think that's a good compliment for people. That's a humble brag. <laughs> no, but, but here's but here's where I, I, I is that because like do you think maybe that's the case because like my whole persona as a person feels younger because I I don't have kids so I don't sit around and talk about my kids and like my family because I don't ha I'm not married so like that ages you like personality wise because like you said when you're old you're talking about your medicine like when you have a family you talk about your family and your kids and whatever and it puts you in a different mindset so then you almost like I think it's like you feel older like I don't know if that has anything to do with your physical appearance. But, like, it could, like, the, maybe the stress. <laughs> There's less stress. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that. But, but you know, that like, for sure. The fact that, okay, so we can say is that our lives have been easier because we did not have kids at an early age. Right, so maybe we're less stressed. and we, so it's, Yeah, it, so of course we don't look like we've had to stay up countless nights <laughs> taking care of an infant. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, and that's what I mean. It's like, is that because of that? Yeah, because I get eight hours of sleep every freaking night. Yeah. <laughs> right. I've been yeah. getting three hours of sleep for 20 years. Because I spend all my money on myself and not on <laughs> diapers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, imagine that. I'm not <laughs> imagine as... Imagine <laughs> that you look, you look younger <laughs> when you don't have the stress about everything. Yeah. Huh. Of course. But that was like, yeah, it's not, it wasn't like, a, I wasn't trying to humble brag. I don't think I look that young, but... You know, it's funny because... This is this isn't a really a great story to tell. But well, it's it the, ga the, the game's over. So do is it? Yeah. All right. Well, I was just going to tell the story of like when I was younger, how like uh, living in Ashtabula, everybody would expect me to buy beer because I looked old enough to do so. Oh. At the time when I was nowhere You're definitely near definitely younger than everybody else. Yeah, but yeah. I was I was big enough. And right. for some reason, I just had to look where all of my beer excursions were successful, whereas other people... Also, did. I don't think Ashtabula was quite the uh, the most official place to care about age about anything. Nah, dude. I remember going to a drive through You're 18, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Like, 
No, no, don't ask for the ID. Just ask that you're 18. <laughs> Here's like, your cigarettes. Like, like you're going to go, no, ma'am. <laughs> no, look, you got to be 18 to get cigarettes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Tell your grandmother that we love her and tell her to come watch us. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out. Thank you.